Hey guys, welcome back. And in this video, we are going to learn about configuring the data sources and data sets in a Microsoft Power BI report builder. So let's get started. So I'm simply opening up this um, Power BI report builder. And if you're a complete beginner and you have no idea how to create a paginated report, well, getting your data is your first step. So as you can see in the left hand side, we have data sources and data set option. So first step is to create a data source. Hit left click, add data source and let's uh, keep data source name as test and let's keep it uh, SQL server. The reason being what I will do is I will be calling this particular tables. So as you can see, localhost is my server wherein I have this particular database uh, session under which I have got these many tables. So we are going to bring this tables in the report builder over there. So let me just go there. Let this connection type be Microsoft SQL Server build. Then let's keep it win Windows authentication. Then if you can see that we don't have any connect to database active. So if I type my server here, local host. So this option has been activated. Now I should see that my database session is here. And if I test connection, OK. And then again, I'll hit OK. So as you can see, the data source is configured. Now the next step is to bring the data set. So again, right click, data set, and let's keep this as data set one, bringing data source as test. And now we want to see where are my tables. So let's click on query designer. And here you can see that here are your tables. So let me just click on customer and I'll hit okay. So after clicking on that, so you shall see that the complete table is in a SQL query format over here. Next, what you do is validate your query. The data sets are updated and just hit OK. So you shall see that all the fields from that particular table are here. So this is how we configure the data source and the data set for a report builder. I hope this was informative. Thank you for watching.